lost my friend Spencer about a year and a half ago. Um, he wasn't driving, but uh, the guy who was was drunk. And crashed the car into a pole in a tree. It's such a preventable thing, drinking and driving. Drinking and driving has affected many lives over the years, whether it is someone losing their life or someone losing a loved one. Over 16,000 lives are ended each year due to drunk driving. On May 15, 2011, three lives were taken way too soon due to drunk driving. Spencer's dad, Haley McGuire, and Johnny Hoover. A foundation was created soon after the accident in memory of the three, called the Happiness Foundation. This foundation asks people to make two promises, to not drink and drive, and to not get in a car with someone who has been drinking. You may not realize how important this issue is and how many lives are lost and affected because of one decision. The decision could end a life. I knew Spencer from some more experience and he was definitely one of my good friends. Somebody I really was able to confide in. For everyone who was so close to him, it was really hard because it was so quick. I mean, I it was really devastating losing a close friend like that. This is one thing that no friend or family should ever have to go through. I think it's impacted people, his friends, for the better. And by that, I mean we know we would never drink and drive. We would, you know, we always tell our friends like, don't drink and drive. Kevin Coffey, the driver of the car, is currently in jail for three counts of manslaughter and one count of leaving the scene. His blood alcohol level was 0.16 three hours after the accident happened. You can prevent this from happening and save a life. Keep the party alive. Don't drink and drive. It could be you. Make the promise at www.wearehappiness.org.